let me clear up some issues. Uh, the term active focus, which is uh, from Jake Steiner. There is a lot of scientific truth if understood correctly. What Jake says is that eye stimulus and active focus, eye controls or refractive status from the environment or what you're looking at. There's a lot of science for that. Now, the only thing I would add to the words active focus is to put up a Snellen chart and determine if you could read the 2060 line. Why is that? Well, that tells you far more than active focus. It tells you you're being consistent. <coughs> it establishes an objective standard. People talk about blur and not blur. That's not quantitative. You can't tell how much blur you have just by saying, I have blur. Yeah, I know you have blur. But you want, you really want to do when doing active focus is determine which line on a Snellen you read consistently at 20 feet. And I've marked up a chart with 20, 40, 60, and so forth. So I would make active fo focus quantitative. How much can you see? If you admit this step, I think you're missing a lot of the point of active focus. Another issue is how much support do I give to Jake? Profound support. I would say 95% support for Jake and 5% for conventional optometry. Conventional optometry believes, thinks that nobody understands anything. They believe, think that if you're slightly nearsighted, say 2040 requiring about minus one doctor, it's permanent. You will never, ever get out, and it will just keep on going down and down and down. Seems to me they should tell you that. Jake thinks if you're 2040 on your Stellan 2050, you can get out of it by doing active focus. Since I so much gave up on optometry, I say measure yourself, as you'll see me doing. That's quantitative. You can tell how much you've changed by using some simple test lenses for about $30. Depends on how much science you want to have in this process. Another term, pseudomyopia. Exactly what is that? Nobody ever defined it. It doesn't mean anything until you define it. So let me define it. It's when you're reading the 2060 line. If you read better than 2060, you have pseudomyopia. If you can't read the 2100 line, you have regular myopia. Just to get things quantitative, how much? I have posted some remarks by optometry organizations and lectures in optometry about what they think about myopia. They think it's totally hopeless. They don't think anybody can ever get out of it. I will be a little more quantitative. Your best chance of getting out of it as it is, as you're just getting into it, that's your best success, best time for success. If you start wearing a minus lens, you've got a double whammy. Not only did this start producing it, but now you put a minus lens and you wear it all the time that has moved everything closer. That is Jake's myopia bubble or fo focus bubble. I put it that way. Um, Jake has produced a tremendous effort. He's successful. He really only has to pass the required DMV test when I'm sure he does that. For me, I support pilots and my immediate blood relatives because they deserve a better life than I have had. It meant that they wore plus one necessary. It meant that they always checked their snell and passed the required line and never started wearing a minus lens and never got staircase myopia from that first minus lens. You did this right. 
and you'll never get a merit minus lens. You'll never wear contact lenses. You'll never have ortho K. You'll never get a detached retina from getting severe myopia. You will get a solution to all these problems, but you have to have the motivation of pilot when you're 20, 50 or 20, 60. Most people don't have that motivation and discussion with several people posting on my site as 100% certain. Even the optometrists I talk to say the same thing. The public, unless strongly educated and strongly motivated, has no motivation to do anything in the sense of prevention. I understand that from optometrists. I don't expect anything from them for exactly that reason. But let's be reasonable. The problem is a person's motivation, not science anymore not facts, because we know when we put a minus lens on a completely normal eye, we get a myopic eye in six months. That is a completely normal eye. There is no defect, there is no failure, and there is no error. If you can take that point of view, you have a good chance of staying out of it and protecting your distant vision for life. Enjoy the video. Enjoy science. This to me is science. When I say dynamic eye, that's exactly what I mean. I don't expect any help from an optometrist. Never should expect that sort of help. Thank you.